Here's your rock. <laughs> These rocks were brought in by this young man here. Yeah, I should have brought my See? rock. I mean, I have, a, I have a rock like that. And it has a Chinese. You can read the word. I do. I mean, with that too, red and black marker. We're gathered here today uh, because we're in a grave crisis. The biggest crisis that we have ever had this year today. Why? Because the government has decided to attack the Creator. They have already destroyed part of our sites over here and it pains me to come and see all this destruction without them paying any attention to us. So right now I just thought it would be nice if we just introduce ourselves. I'd like to just introduce first our good man here, hadn't been for this young man, uh, he says get up Figueroa, uh, I gotta get up. Uh, anyway this is Miguel Rosas from Yuma, please Miguel Rosas. Uh, good morning everybody. I'm here to protect uh, Mother Earth and I believe that these rocks, they do speak to us and they have saved us in the past and they do have a message for us to save the future but if we destroy, we destroy the evidence, we'll never know the message behind these sacred geoglyphs. Right here, we're standing right here where I, a long geoglyph, it was around 50 feet long and around 5 feet wide and it went straight through north and it, why do I know it's straight through north because it goes all the way and you come here at night time you'll see right up there on top <laughs> you'll see the north star and that north star doesn't travel it's no longer here so all of it is gone all of it's all gone how, how long was it around 50 feet long give and, or take and we're right there now we're right here right here we're sitting right here and right here this is the edge well I'm actually pretty pissed off at the BLM because Apparently their basis to dismiss the legitimacy of, of the sites out here is based on an aerial photo. And technically speaking, that's no way to study something for archaeology. And so by, by doing all of this fast tracking and, and rushing all of these projects through, they did not do their job. The BLM needs to be held accountable for this. And for the BLM, to come up with these asinine uh, comments that Google Earth, Google Earth wasn't even here. When did Google Earth start? Google Earth? Six or seven years ago. <laughs> Six or seven years ago. Six or seven years ago. And they say that they didn't see the Google Earth. That's their, that's their uh, uh, justification. So we know that they're, they're a bunch of idiots. You saw over there where we were had the, the signs, that was part of the sun. That's been destroyed forever too. This right here was destroyed right and right across okay. the watch was destroyed too. Okay. Yes. This used to be the sun right here. Part of the sun. It got, you know, you, you see the, the eastern part of the sun. That's why we know this the sun because the arrows are going towards the sun. And we know that the sun rises <laughs> at the east. They're so simple and yet we think that they're so complicated because well for the Europeans it was complicated that's why they wanted to destroy everything so now Ken Salazar brags that he's the 12 descendant of Juan de Oñate Juan de Oñate is the worst murderer that the people from New Mexico uh, had ever met he's the one that killed a lot of the Zunis and the Pueblos and he chopped their feet off when they rebelled so we're saying that what Juan de Oñate couldn't destroy Ken Salazar is going to try to destroy it. One of the Mexica's prophecies is this. It's going to be in my another book. It's this. When the rocks search, look at that. When the rocks search by themselves, then we know that the rocks are speaking the truth. Um, the blatant lack of respect and the fact there's a lawsuit actually in progress and they're just going ahead and plowing and devastating and ruining things is just unbelievable. And I think we're at a point in our history where it isn't just about you know, one issue, it's about where do we go with our taking care of the earth. We know, all know we've hit a point where there's no return. So going green, ruining things to go green is completely a, an oxymoron. It doesn't make sense. We can't afford to ruin anything else. I always think about how the native people or their religious spirituality. 
I know I had a problem one time, a serious problem, and, and I couldn't control myself. I went to preachers, and brother-in-law, and some way preachers down in Parker preached their way, the Christian way. Get that out of me. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. And one day I just thought to myself, says, I need to go to our own areas. Well, Thanks to Dale's dad that, you know, he taught me some of these things. Uh, and there's an area, what they call it, the birthday rock. As you go through it, you're reborn over. And I called his dad, what time of the day can I go out there? Because it was raining a little bit, it was early in the morning. Go anytime you want. But I'm going to tell you this one thing. I'm going to warn you one time. You listen close, because I'm not going to tell you the second time. Don't you take anything out there bad with you. Okay. Had a lot of anger. Crazy feeling in me. Want to hurt somebody. A lot of hate for me. But that's not me. That's something was controlling me. Anybody can tell you that's not me. I went out there. For the first time in my life, I went through that rock. Right here. Yeah, pull the tops tighter. Right here, this used to be the sun. You like the sun? sun? What you destroyed? You see what you guys are doing? Bunch of idiots. The money, follow the money, but we're going to be together. We'll be together one of these days. What you destroy here will never be replaced. You could tell people had went through it. Real opening on the other side for a thousand years because it's shiny there. We're going to be on TV. We're going to be on TV all over. No joke. So you want to make a comment? Right now's the time. I know who you represent. And I had to work that afternoon in Laughlin, Nevada. But as I was left the area, I had to go to work. Driving on the freeway, I felt that stress going out of my body. I felt that anger go out of me, that hate go out of me. That's what these places are about, a rock. Rock speak to you, we're saying. And that's why I went to that area. That's what we are. And I still go back there in that area every now and then. Not because I just want them, because that's our area, that's our place. Got a helicopter coming out. Hey, better call some more in. <laughs> Is your cultural representative here, the native representative? I don't see him, you're not following the regulations. Where's the cultural officer? He's supposed to be here. Alfredo, who is interested in us? Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day that you get people like us, I mean. <laughs> you know? GPSing where they are, putting them on my maps, and then looking at the BLM documentation that outlines the project area. It looks to me like Cocopelli is not in the project area, but not by very much. It's right on the border. However, the Temple to the Underworld is in one of the sections named in the section list in the BLM documentation that is inside the project area. And there's a couple more sites right next to the Temple to the Underworld, and those also are inside the, the boundary. So those are in extreme danger. Well, we call this place where we're at the Temple. It's a... Uh, we call it the temple because instead of being like a, you know, a pyramid, it's a pyramid down. Everything is up and everything is down. So right here we have, we have uh, a 16, 16 levels, 16 lines that represent levels. And seven on the top and nine are going down straight to that mountain over there. And you can see his face. He's looking straight at Miguel. And he sees him. He says, what are you doing there, Miguel? Well, I'm with Figueroa. Okay. Mm. 
pay attention, he says. His name is Texcalipoca. And in the, and in the, in the topo map, it's called El Tosco. El Tosco means the hefty. Hefty is like this. That's why he's the one that's over here, that geoglyph over here, that descends from that mountain over there, that far mountain. It's called Tamoan Chan. If you saw the, the, the movie of Avatar, the Avatar movie was representing that mountain over there. Tamoan Chan. It's what we say where sky meets earth. That's why right here is so sacred. Now here we go over there. And here we go over there. And here we are seeing Quetzal Patet. Quetzal Patet is Quetzalcoatl's duality, the woman. This is the center, right in the center. And we are right in the center of the whole Blythe Solar Panel Project. What I plotted several months ago, a uh, temple right here is in the boundary. Uh, the boundary stops, actually it takes a jog. Boundary stops, it's an east-west boundary about 300 meters down in that direction, south of us. And then on the other side of that boundary is not inside the project. Does it include the trailers? No, I don't mm -hmm. think it probably stops before that. See, that's why they're going to clean it. those up. They're basically saying, well, we screwed up this entire area here, but we'll just put a Band-Aid on it by cleaning up the trash. On the, It's stupid. <laughs> well, if that's inside the boundary, and they, uh, you know, my speculation would be that these construction people would clean that up in a day or two. You well, know, if it's outside, though, If it's it outside, it's look, something else. But it makes them look good. Yeah. It makes them look like they're, you know, yeah. helping the environment. Exactly. Oh, yeah, and definitely. That's what they, they do. They, they, PR. They, they exactly, are. and then, like he said, he might they, uh, the board of supervisors might be getting some of that stimulus money too. Could be. So, who knows? Now, I'm not involved in, the, in those kind of. Uh, uh, that's not my department. My department is to let you know what it means to us, why it's so, so sacred, and why we greatly appreciate all the participation of you people that came from so far to participate here with us to make some effort and let them know that we're not going to take this. We're going to continue the battle. According to Miguel, he wants to come every weekend. So I'm with him 100%.